ahora de un auto tan popular que se está convirtiendo en el Mercedes-Benz CLA 2014, que está teniendo realmente un, un éxito tremendo muy rápido. Vamos a pasar a una entrevista con eh, el gerente de uno de los dealerships de otra marca exclusiva, la Range Rover eh, y Jaguar, aquí en el sur de la Florida, que nos va a hablar de la demanda que tiene eh, la Range Rover Sport. Well, Danny here at an event uh, showing off the new uh, beautiful vehicles from Jaguar Land Rover. And um, as we were talking before off the air, I mean, you guys have like a beautiful lineup of new cars and uh, a lot of new customers coming in to see the cars and wanting the cars, which is a huge change from uh, just a few years ago, right? Well, you know, I, I guess a few years ago we definitely saw the, uh, the you know, the, the economy take a hit, the high gas prices and... Uh, And it was, it was a tough time for a couple of years, and then uh, I would say back in uh, August 2009, we saw a big change with Range Rover. Uh, we started to see a lot of new products, and uh, now with the two new models, the, or three new models, I should say, the, the Range Rover Evoque, the Range Rover Sport, and the Range Rover, uh, we're seeing more customers than we ever had before. Um, it's bringing um, all new people to the brand. Yeah, and uh, especially the Range Rover, uh, all of them, the three of them that you just mentioned, I mean, they're like incredibly popular, and actually there's like a huge waiting list for some uh, for the Sport and the Range Rover, right? Um, yeah, we, we have a little, I would say we have a little bit of a wait. Um, the Range Rover Sport uh, is currently, by my estimate, about a six-month wait, and the Range Rover, it's, it's very tough to say um, the exact wait time because we don't really know our, our order calls, but I estimate about... Uh, 12 months for a new Range Rover. Yeah, and is this a uh, kind of a good problem to have uh, changing a little bit the, the way of uh, American people buy cars because in Europe people order the cars and they wait for them. Here in the U.S. they go into the dealership and they want the car immediately, right? So is this a problem that you have now with uh, so, so high demand? Do you think it's going to change a little bit the, the, the reasoning of, uh, of the buying process? No, I think people still want to come in and, and take what they want, and and um, I think the only reason we're able to create this this um, you know this demand and that people are willing to wait is because they really like the product. Yeah. Um, and it's and like you said, it's really popular and it's new. Um, you know, but there there's a lot you know there's a lot of competition out there when things aren't new anymore. Um, you know, people may not be as willing to wait. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's, a, it's a problem. Uh, you know, it's nice to have a product that everybody wants, but at the same time, you know, you see so many opportunities of people constantly coming in that are, that are willing to do business and buy something that day, and it's, uh, it's tough to, to tell them they have to wait. Yeah, exactly. I have a friend that is actually one of your clients, I believe, and she was telling me there's a waiting list, and there's, like, waiting list and the waiting list for the A list, the B list, the C list. It's pretty funny almost, right? You know, we, we try to take, uh, we try to make the orders and fill them as, as people order them and do it in order. Um, you know, there's always, you know, really valued customers of ours that have been loyal to us and buy, uh, you know, Yeah. cars every every year or a couple of years and we you know we try to accommodate for them a little bit but for the most part we fill the orders as they're placed yeah and um, one one last question uh, how big of, I mean it's, it's obvious I mean we're we're here like and people enjoying the cars and all that how big of a change has been from Land Rover and Jaguar uh, from they were owned by Ford and now they're owned by uh, Tata in India and like they're basically doing their own thing in England as, as they know how to do it and they just leave them alone and do the, 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 the things that they know how to do. Yeah, I would say the biggest change we see is, is their commitment to both brands. Uh, they're really committed to uh, changing the image of Jaguar and, and growing the brand uh, to, to levels of where it once was and, and with Range Rover I think their, their, their plan and their commitment is to take it to the next level and to, uh, you know, their, their goal is to double sales volume and uh, they have the, the funds to, to back it and to, to invest with the company, which we didn't see that with Ford. Yeah, and, uh, we're hearing here the F-Type and I was going to ask you about the F-Type. I mean, uh, the previous cars that they have, uh, the new models since uh, in the past five years, have been good, but this car is a game changer almost, right? This it's, car. It's definitely a game changer and it's attracting a lot of attention to Jaguar and it's filtering through to some of the other models and uh, You know, it's it's a direct competition with Porsche. That's that's really what they're what they're going after. And um, you know, the last three months, it's it's outsold the uh, the Porsche uh, 911 and uh, Boxster. Yeah. Not uh, not combined, but individually, the F-Type has outsold them for three months in a row. So it's, uh, it's it's doing what it needs to do nationally. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for your time. Are we gonna try to enjoy a little bit of driving here with the cars? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 
Pues ahí estaba Dani Valenzuela de la dealership Land Rover de North and South aquí en el Dade y la experiencia que tuvimos manejando los autos de Land Rover y de Jaguar. Y cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 vamos a hablar de automovilismo, del Auto Show de Miami y también del Test Drive del Bentley Continental GTC. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.